With the 28th pick of the 2020 MLB draft, the New York Yankees select Austin Wells, a catcher from the University of Arizona. The Los Angeles Dodgers have the next pick. Mm, this is the second time in the last three years the Yankees take a catcher with their first pick. Anthony Siegler was selected. What are you trying to say, Greg? In 2018. I'm, not, I'm just pointing out facts. Uh, this kid's got a sweet swing, though. Yeah, he does. He does. Um, questions whether or not he can stick at catcher. Uh, otherwise, think Kyle Schwarber here might be in the works. That might be the comp. Uh, he, he decimated Pac 12 pitching, posting a career 1,035 OPS for the Wildcats. Uh, he, he hit with a wood bat as well, seven home runs at the Cape last su summer to rank third in the league. A uh, raw power, great timing. Uh, scouts love his bat. And here he is finding out that the New York Yankees just drafted him with the 28th overall selection. He's dressed for success, too, man. Tightened up. That's awesome. A six foot two, 220 pound catcher, Austin Wells. Jonathan Mayo, what do you think of the pick? Yeah, I think it's a good pick late in the first round. You mentioned the bat. That is exactly what the Yankees are buying there. And you figure out the position once he gets into the pro game. Uh, it, it's the it's the hit and the power tools that really stand out. Uh, I, I think for for Wells, he's always been able to hit. He hit when he was at Bishop Gorman in Nevada in high school. Wanted to go on Arizona. Here he is again. Uh, he's put up very good numbers. Controls the strike so well, so he's going to get to that power uh, again. Maybe another guy that you send out as a catcher and see what happens. Unlike Kyle Schwarber. He's been seen playing other positions. He's played the outfield. He's played some first base. So there's some comfort level knowing that if you have to move him, he's going to be just fine in any of those spots. That left-handed power, though, should get him to the big leagues pretty quickly. Yeah, according to MLB.com, was the best available left-handed bat left on the draft board. The Yankees get him at number 28. Carlos Colazzo, this is a guy they liked for a while. They drafted him in the 35th round out of high school back in 2018. They get him after a couple years in college. What do you think of Wells to the Yanks? Yeah, I think Jonathan did a really good job kind of explaining who he is as a player. I do think it's bat first. He's a really impressive hitter. He's hit for power in college. Uh, I, I do think that he might have a chance to stick behind catcher. That's definitely not the consensus opinion. I've talked to some people that are a little bit higher on his receiving, but he does need to work there. I talked with him uh, this season, and he said he's put a lot of work into that uh, defensive side of his game. So I think he does want to stick back there. If he can catch and you have that bat there, it's extremely valuable. But I do think if he doesn't stick behind the plate, he's going to profile well just because the bat's that special. The Yankees don't have a second round pick. Only two more picks this yeah. entire draft. So they go with Austin Wells, who's a good athlete. 